After a chilly start today for the final leg of the Burger of the Canoe Marathon is underway and here at Kersafontein Bridge just over an hour and a quarter into the stage the people are waiting to welcome some of the uh, slower paddlers and who's leading that group home pretty appropriately but the man who's doing his 50th Burger of the Canoe Marathon Gil van Dieventer getting a richly deserved ovation. So he'll enjoy his moment in the, in the spotlight right now but in a few moments time that lead pack which we understand is four is going to come powering through here. It's going to be a great race all the way down to Feltriff. The three men that have dominated the front of the race started together in the batch just after dawn when they left Zoetkloof. Andy Burkett with a two minute and a couple of seconds lead in the bank over Hank McGregor was made to work hard for every bit of that advantage. Hank McGregor kept him honest throughout the final stage. The conditions were tough, the wind got up and Hamish Lovemore sat with them throughout. The three have been in a class of their own throughout the race and when they came down to the finish line, Hank McGregor had the gas in the tank to be able to win the stage, his third out of four. But it wasn't enough to deny Andy Burkett his second victory in the Burger of a Canoe Marathon. Yeah, it's been a really tough four days of racing, but uh, really cool to race against Hank and Hamish. And it's, uh, it's been a case of make a mistake and you're going to pay for it. And uh, see the other guys make a mistake and you try and capitalize. But it's been really intense, tough, fair racing. It's been great. The three women who've dominated the front of the women's race started the ladies' batch and it looked like it was going to be a fairly straightforward procession because Nikki Burkett had a seven-minute lead over Geordie Peak, and then there was 32-odd minutes to go back to Bianca Bivett in third. But that whole race was turned on its head. Nikki Burkett had another fantastically strong marathoner's day, but when she got to the portage at Urdra Plek, 45 minutes away from the finish, she was part of a group that made a horrendous mistake and doubled back on themselves. It was only when they got back to the portage takeout that they realized their mistake. What they didn't know is that the second and third place woman in a group somewhere behind them made exactly the mistake that she had made. It didn't affect the outcome of the women's race but it added a layer of drama. The women's races added so much value and perhaps it's appropriate that as we move to Women's Day, the day after the race, that the women provided such a great highlight at this year's Burger River Canoe Marathon. Oh, it's been wonderful. It's been tough but a fantastic race. So well organized. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. Well, the 2021 60th edition of the Burger River Canoe Marathon concluded here in Feltrift in the most dramatic fashion possible. The weather moved in, the wind came howling up the river, making for incredibly tough conditions after three sublime days going through the Swartland. The men's race saw victory going to a popular champion in Andy Burkett. The women's race produced such drama and suspense as all three leading women did an extra lap around Urdra Plek. It's been a memorable 60th edition of this famous race over four days from Paul down to the west coast. And it's a suitable way to bring down the curtain on a Berg Marathon that will be talked about for years and years to come.